Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice math problem, which is 8 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x, this is equal to 130. So what is the value of x, given that x is a member of real numbers? So let's provide a solution from here. We can express 8 as 2 to the power of 3, then this to the power of x, then plus 2 to the power of x, this is equal to 130. Now, 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x, this is in the form of a to the power of n, this to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of m, this to the power of n. Applying this exponent property, then we have 2 to the power of x, this to the power of 3, then plus 2 to the power of x, this is equal to 130. So 2 to the power of x is common here. So we can let 2 to the power of x be equal to u. Let's substitute u where we have 2 to the power of x so that we have u to the power of 3 plus u. This is equal to 130. The next step is to take 130 on the left hand side so that we have u to the power of 3 plus u subtract 130 this is equal to 0 so we have u to the power of 3 plus u minus 130 we can express 130 this is the same thing as 26 multiplying by 5. So this is minus 26 multiplying by 5. This is equal to 0. Now, the next step from here, the next step from here, we have that we can express u. u is the same thing as this is 26 u subtract 25 u. If you see 26u minus 25u, this is the same thing as plus u. So we can substitute this so that we have u to the power of 3 plus 26u minus 25u, then subtract 26 times 5, this is equal to 0. Now, we can rearrange this equation as u to the power of 3 minus 25u, then plus 26u, subtract 26, multiplying by 5, this is equal to 0. Now, if we check from the first part here, u is common here, so we can factor out u, so that we have u into the parentheses. This is u to the power of 2, minus 25, cross the parentheses, then plus from the second part here, we have that 26 is common, so we can factor out 26 into the parentheses. This is u minus 5. This is equal to 0. Now, we have here, this is u into the parentheses. We can express u squared minus 25 as u squared minus 5 to the power of 2. Cross the parentheses, then plus 26. Into the parentheses, this is u minus 5. This is equal to 0. Now, u squared minus 5 squared, this is in the form of a squared minus b squared, which we can express as a plus b, multiplied by a minus b. So therefore, u to the power of 2 minus 5 to the power of 2, this can be expressed as u plus 5, multiplied by u minus 5. Let's substitute this so that we have u into the parentheses. We have u plus 5 multiplied by u minus 5, then plus 26 into the parentheses. This is u minus 5. Cross the parentheses, this is equal to 0. So we have that u minus 5 is common here, so we can factor out u minus 5 into the parentheses we have u 
multiplying by u plus 5 then plus here we have 26 close the parentheses here this is equal to 0 okay so we have u minus 5 into the parentheses this is u times u which is u squared then plus u times 5 this is 5u then plus 26 cross the parentheses this is equal to 0 so again we have got two parts here the first part is u minus 5 this is equal to 0 and the second part here is u squared plus 5u plus 26 this is equal to 0 okay so from the first part here we have u is equal to 5 now the second part here this is a quadratic equation where we have a is equal to 1 b is equal to 5 and c is equal to 26 now let's assess the nature of the root of this quadratic equation that means we determine the discriminant value which is b squared minus 4 ac and therefore let's substitute these values of a b and c so we have 5 to the power of 2 minus 4 times a which is 1 then times c which is 26 so here we have 5 squared this is 25 minus we have 26 times 4 now 6 times 4 this is 24 carry 2 then 4 times 2 8 plus 2 this is 104 so we have 25 minus 104 and this essentially is equal to minus 79 which is less than 0 and this implies that we have two complex roots we have two complex roots a we have two complex roots and this implies that here there is no real solution that can be obtained from this quadratic equation so in other words since we have that x is an element of real numbers then we have that the quadratic equation is rejected the quadratic equation is rejected so let's focus on u which is equal to 5 now let's focus on u which is equal to 5 now if you recall we are saying that let 2 to the power of x be equal to u substituting u we have 2 to the power of x this is equal to 5 so to solve for x here we introduce logarithm on both sides we have rock 2 to the power of x this is equal to rock 5 and you find that rock 2 to the power of x this is in the form of rock a to the power of b which we can express as b rock a applying this power rule property logarithm then rock 2 to the power of x becomes x rock 2 this is equal to rock 5 now let's divide both signs by rock 2 here we have rock 2 so we can simplify rock 2 and rock 2 here so that x is equal to rock 5 divided by rock 2 now rock 5 over rock 2 this is in the form of rock a divided by rock b which we can express as rock a to base b applying this logarithm property then we have the value of x equal to this is rock 5 to base 2 so this is the value of x now let's verify that this value of x here satisfies the equation let's verify as follows if you recall we have that 8 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x this is supposed to give us a value of 130 now we can express 8 as 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of x then plus 2 to the power of x 
this should give us a value of 130. Let's substitute the value of x so that we have 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of log 5 to base 2 then plus 2 to the power of log 5 to base 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 130. Now we have that 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of log 5 to base 2. This is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n multiplied by m. So this implies that we have 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by log 5 to base 2, then plus 2 to the power of log 5 to base 2. This is supposed to give us a very of 130. Now, since this is the power here, we can express this as 2 to the power of rock 5 to the power of 3 to base 2, then plus 2 to the power of rock 5 to base 2. This is supposed to give us a very of 130. So that now, 2 to the power of rock 5 to base 2, or 2 to the power of rock 5 to the power of 3 to base 2, this is in the form of a to the power of rock b to base a, this should give us a value of b. Now, applying this property, we have here 2 to the power of rock 5 cubed to base 2, this should give us a value of 5 to the power of 3, which is equal to 125. And we have that 2 to the power of rock 5 to base 2, this should give us a value of 5. Substituting 125 and 5, this implies we have 125 plus 5. This is supposed to give us a value of 130. So 125 plus 5, this is 130, which is equal to 130. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that the value of x, which is rock 5 to base 2, actually satisfies the equation. So kind of follow the steps, like this video, and kindly subscribe. Like this video, and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.